Now normally when it comes to snakes, I'm kind of whatever. However, after this movie... Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Taking of Deborah Logan. Yes, again, another found footage movie, but this is actually one that is genuinely good. It's one that's always stuck in my mind. I felt the need, the want to rewatch it again. And I can definitely say it still holds up. This movie follows Deborah Logan, a senior woman who is suffering from Alzheimer's, but also it seems something else. Her daughter is taking care of her and allowing this documentary, student documentary crew to come in to do this report about the effects of Alzheimer's and what it has on people. But then as the story progresses, the students find out that there's a little bit more to Deborah than just Alzheimer's. She starts to do things that are out of the norm into the realm almost of supernatural and then takes them down a road into cult theories, dark possession of powers, and snakes. Very dangerous. You go first. If you take out the themes and all of the actual different individual bits of this film, the structure of it still for the most part follows out of every other found footage horror movie. But however, there are three very key factors that take this film out of that very generic genre and make it its own. First being the fact that it's talking about Alzheimer's and it does not do it in any kind of disrespectful form. Alzheimer's is an honest to god horrifying disease to me. The fact that you can slowly have your brain forget not only who people are, who things are, memories, events, things, significant things about your life, but it also can force you to the point where you forget how to eat, you forget how to bathe yourself, to go to the washroom and then eventually just forget how to have your body function normally. That's terrifying to me. And they incorporate that into the film very well, very respectfully, and at the same time putting in some genuine dread about something that affects millions of people all over the world. The second bit is the casting. Deborah Logan, played by Jill Larson, is fantastic, and her daughter, who's played by Anna Ramsey, is also fantastic. Jill Larson, you actually might recognize her from Shutter Island. She's the shush lady. She is creepy in this movie. At first you feel sort of awkward about it. You feel wrong for feeling that about her character because of the degenerative disease that her character is going through, but as she starts to exude these otherworldly sort of horror-like symptoms and actions, that uncomfortable feeling you have ups itself in other ways. Her performance is genuine throughout and there's a lot of weird shit that happens to this lady in this movie and I feel that her performance really holds you into this realm of a believable sort of film even with all of the bra and the music and the horror noises that you'll hear in the background her performance coinciding with that of Anna Ramsey who plays her daughter helped put you into this realm of a believable character and as I said that does coincide with Anna Ramsey's performance as her daughter who is clearly fed up with all the shit that she's dealt with. This is commonplace for family members who have to help take care of a parent or an aunt or an uncle who is going through Alzheimer's. It is not an easy process. I watched my mom go through this with her mom. And to see her exude this personality of someone who just is fed up with shit and still trying to hold it all together is genuine. There's a part in the film where it's quite terrifying. They're going into a life or death situation and there's snakes all over them and one of them's hissing at her and she grabs it and says, oh fuck off. That moment gave me a laugh and a part that I should not have been laughing at. It was quite scary. And the third reason why I like this movie is coinciding with the first two reasons. It has an air of believability or a realm of realism, more so to say. At this point in time, the found footage genre was really starting to die out or going into the incredibly low bar area of thematic crap. And while this film does have a couple of sound bits that I kind of wish weren't in the background, I don't think the film needed it, they do not take away from the overall progress of what this film is and what its overall theme is. It is a spooky 
spooky movie, both about the mental illness that it's talking about and the effects of what happens to Deborah Logan as the story progresses and the ulterior supernatural evil forces start to make themselves known. And it's a genuine cool figure it out story there is an actual plot progression you are figuring out what's going on and it has a resolution as well as kind of a hmm kind of ending i do like the taking of deborah logan i think it's actually a found footage movie that you should go out of your way to see if you have not it is a genuinely well-made found footage horror movie and that's something to say, considering a lot of the ones that I've reviewed on this channel have been dog shit. So in the end, I'm going to give The Taking of Deborah Logan a 5 out of 7. Admittedly, yes, it's a little bit of a generous one in the terms of filmmaking, but as a found footage movie person who likes these movies as a incredible guilty pleasure and full well knowing that there is a lot of dog shit out there this one's actually probably one of the good ones but that's my thoughts about this movie have you guys ever seen this film let me know in the comments below if you haven't seen this one tell me about your favorite guilty pleasure found footage movies the ones that probably might be quite a bit bad but you still enjoy them for your own personal reasons let me know in the comments below otherwise guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe until then, I'll see you guys next time.